It's time for Ryan's Roses. This is a public service here. Uh, if you think something's going on in your relationship and you can't get to the bottom of it, just hit us up via email and then we'll see what we can do. But it says, Dear Ryan and Sissini, friends of ours got married in Vegas recently. My boyfriend went without me. I couldn't go because of work. We're both part of this group of friends since college. So while I hated not going, it was fine that he went. I agree with that. I think yeah. that if you're all friends, you could say, look, I got it. I, I could see myself doing it. Here, go with our other friends to it. I got to work. That's fine. Yeah. She says, but when the picture started showing up on Facebook, I saw some things that really bothered me. Uh, a look here, a touch there. Maybe in one picture, it wouldn't be a big deal. But there were a lot of pictures of my boyfriend and other friends of ours a little too close. I even spotted them in the background of a few. Uh, he's saying, oh, it's very innocent. Now, there's insecurity in this relationship because for her to even jump to that conclusion means that she's not totally secure with him right. because I think that you, you see photos like that people are having a good time well, they're hugging each other and like dissecting them so much you know yeah Just like going photo for photo well that that means there's already a problem before Vegas true so now what we've got to do is find out what has gone wrong before Vegas mm-hmm. Vegas isn't the issue Interesting. Vegas is not the problem. So you already think for sure that this there's some fishy business going on here. Well, I don't know if there's fishy. I know that there's insecurity. And I'm saying right. that Vegas isn't the reason that she's insecure. Something else already happened. Right. Or something's not happening. Mm-hmm. She's not getting something. Let's find out more. So, Denise, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good, thanks. So I was just saying to Sissini, let's take Vegas out of this for a second. What... Okay. was not strong or what weren't you getting or what has happened in your relationship to even bring you to the conclusion that something might be going on seeing these pictures? Because I feel like your relationship already before Vegas, something wasn't right. Um, a, a little bit. I think that um, he's just been acting different in general. But um, but that happened before as... this trip. Yeah. You see, that's okay. my point. Yeah. Did you already feel uneasy with him going to Vegas to begin with? Um, I don't want to say that I felt uneasy about it because I still trusted him quite a bit. Um, It's not like I thought anything were to happen there. I didn't mistrust him, but I think that we had gotten in a fight like, I don't know, like a week or so before, but it it was nothing that would prevent me from having him go. Right, but what was the fight? What happened in the fight? Um, it was just, it was like a family thing. He didn't come to a family thing of mine and I didn't know why he didn't want to come. So he's let, he's, he's let you down. He's let you down. And then he let you down in your mind again with these photos. And there seems to be a theme running here. So Denise, let me, let's put you on. How long have you been together? We've been together for six years. And do you feel like you have total solid trust in the relationship? Uh, I thought so, and not until these pictures have I ever really, I mean, I think that you always have doubt in some way. I don't know. Maybe that's just me trying to compensate for not having trust in him. I don't know. No, but these I mean, in a relationship, was, you shouldn't have doubt. Denise, what is it? was it a specific girl that you keep seeing in all these pictures, or was it like? Yeah, it was. Um, it's a girl named Naeli who um, we're not like, best friends with her or anything but she's a like she's a group in our group of friends i would say so she's more of an acquaintance of ours than anything Can I else and ask you something when you said because sometimes you say stuff and you don't mean it really yeah you do the opposite when you said go to the wedding yeah. did you really mean don't go to the wedding no i didn't I'm not, okay. I really don't. But that's that can I'm happen. I've been in that situation. Person. All right. All right. I understand well, here, that, and I definitely don't think that. No. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and call him. Sissy's going to take this and, and get him to at least, hopefully, send roses to you. And maybe, is it Nate Ellie or someone hopefully. else? All right. We are going to call now and we want to find out what he puts on the card and who he sends the roses to. Okay. So I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then whatever his name is on Kiss FM. Okay, you have my permission to call my boyfriend on Kiss FM. Okay, here we go. Good luck. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Julio. Uh, This is Julio. Hi, uh, this is Colette. I'm calling from Fresh Blooms. We're a brand new flower shop here in West Covina. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm good. How are, how are you? 
I'm good. Hi. Well, I'm calling because we're doing a promotion this month. We're giving out free flowers, just trying to get the word out of our new business. And you've been selected to receive a free dozen roses. They're absolutely free. And you can send them to anybody that you'd like today. I don't need any credit card or billing information from you. Uh, We're just trying to promote our new flower shop. Are you sure they're absolutely free? I don't need any. This is not like a scam or anything. I promise. Free roses? It's a free dozen roses. We do a promotion once a week, and um, we're just trying to get our, you know, the word out about our business. Um, okay, and if I don't have to sign up for anything. No, you don't have to sign yeah. up for anything. We just ask that whoever you send the flowers to, hopefully they like them, and then they refer us to, you know, more friends and family. We're just trying to get our business out there, word of mouth. Hmm. Uh, okay. All right. Sounds Great. Good. So. Um, I just need the name of the person you want to send them to, and we can write a quick note. Okay. Um, yeah, can you send them to Nayeli uh, with a note that says, uh, can't wait till Saturday. Can't wait. Nayeli, that's who you're sending the flowers to, Julio. It's Ryan Seacrest. I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio right now, and we have your girlfriend, Denise, on the line. What's going on with you and this other girl? And what's happening on Saturday, Julio? I'm... Yeah, Julio, hi. Hi. What is going on with you and Nayeli? I absolutely knew it. Oh, my God. Nothing is... Look, Julio, oh, oh, you can't I'm say sorry. nothing's going on. You just said can't wait until Saturday. And you, were you in Las Vegas with? Was he? He was in Las Vegas with her. Mm-hmm. So, did look, look, your girlfriend thinks that you're cheating on her. Are you? Clearly, you're doing something wrong. We got together at the wedding, in, you know, in Vegas. And what are you doing you on know, Saturday? Probably, yeah, we plan to see each other on Saturday. Why? Well, that's a problem. So you lied to me when I said, did anything happen between you and Naeli in Vegas? You lied. To my face. Yeah. Three times. Hey, look, I'm, look, I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Uh, I just haven't. You made me feel happy. like I was crazy for even thinking that. You, to- you called me crazy. But you would never do that. And I'm right. You cheated on your girlfriend when you were in Vegas for this wedding. Yes, I, All right. I haven't. Why, well, so you don't want this relationship because you wouldn't put yourself in the position to lose somebody if you didn't care, if you didn't think about losing them, right? Look, I care about Denise a lot. I just. Do you want to be together? I don't, I don't think that we should be together anymore. After six Look, years, I you love- want to break up with me this way? This is what you want to do? Because I asked you before, no. straight up, whether or not you did this in Vegas, and you said no. So you, what, you were never going to bring it up. Because to I didn't know. Because I don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't want. I didn't want to hurt your feelings then. I don't. Well, if you don't want to hurt your feelings, why'd you hook up with Nayeli? Look, it's just something that happened. I didn't plan for it to happen. I'm right. sorry. I didn't know how to deal with it. You know, it's like we've been together. Yeah, nobody years. wakes up and plans to be a. That's right. That's probably true. All right, okay. hold, 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 hold on, you guys. For one, hold on, you two, for one second. So. <sighs> You saw that coming. Here's the lesson there. Here's the lesson. You cannot expect loyalty from someone that's not going to give you honesty. And that's what that guy's doing right there. It's true. Not meant to be. Wow.